What's going on guys? Jeremy DeSimone here. Um, I actually just finished a workout. I'm on my two day split right now. And um, we come to this cabana that I rented out, hoping I can tan, but it's cloudy. But it is lovely here regardless. I'm just taking some time to enjoy the view. But I thought I could shoot a video for you guys because why not? We're here. So instead of just doing the fitness stuff that I will definitely be doing a bit later, um, I'm actually just going to be talking about what I'm doing to help build my business because and what I'm doing and what I'm telling myself wh how I'm doing this. Um, so I do like a lot of research online and what I mean by that is like I look online and like how did other people build their business where they're very successful and help other millions and or thousands or whatever it may be. And I've done like a lot of research on what the common denominator there has to be something that everyone has in common whether you're doing something in fitness or doing something in science or whatever has to be something in common that these people are doing and i did some i did some digging you know there i, I got into the pool you have to wake up at 5 a.m to be successful that's i think that's completely garbage as long as you put the effort in hours and hour of work or whatever um but the common denominator that i actually came across was every single person that actually built an amazing business that helped people was had self-belief like do you really think people that started up a business looked at themselves in the mirror and said oh i don't know if i have it in me i don't know if i can do it uh it's i have so many other things and stuff like that probably not i bet you though they woke up and said oh my god like, I can do it. I, if I can do anything, if I put my mind to it and persevere, I can just do absolutely anything I can want. And that little everyday consistency actually got them there in the first place because they wouldn't take no for an answer. They're like, they identified with this is who they want to become and they believed that they could do it. So they wouldn't stop because they know it in, they knew they had it in them. And it kind of blew my mind when I kind of made that discovery because it's like, doesn't just everyone have that? Can't everyone just not believe in themselves? Like, why are we all not doubting themselves, saying I can't do this and just have their destiny almost planned out for them? Like, oh, I'm going to go this and this is what's going to happen and I'm going to be busy every day nine to five. Why can't we not all just like think outside the box and what can I bring to the world that's missing, right? Like a lot of people know now that I, I do a lot of mental health as long as well as physical health. I'm a big believer in using fitness to empower your life and really doing something for your mind and body every day, consistent, and you'll feel so much better. But when I came to the denominator of just the self-belief being the one thing that every single successful person in my eyes has, it was just so simple. And it's like, it, everyone's looking at ways to like get a million dollars in a year. And like, let's be realistic, that's not gonna happen, at least the first year, uh, it's probably not. Um, but what happens is that like you really need to believe in yourself and like what you have to offer is what the world needs find look out there in the world and see what uh the world is lacking and then just believe in yourself and put it out there like anyone can do anything and i just really a big believer in that second thing i found was it kind of goes again with believing in themselves but it's really consistency you can be motivated, you can have a good idea or whatever, but if you have a good idea, how many good ideas have you had in the past where you actually haven't put that any action on it? Probably a lot, but if you actually believe in it to your core, have the self-belief like I said before, and actually stay consistent with it, you're gonna go places because you're just gonna, every single day, you're gonna be putting in effort and that effort will get rewarded. So again it's that's two simple things that anyone can do to really skyrocket themselves right um and what am i what was i gonna say what was i finishing with that i said uh the third thing was honestly i feel like every single person out there sorry just the wind is very nice right now it's a nice nice touch to the wind I believe the third thing that you must do to really help yourself out is have some confidence. Goes again with b b belief, but have some confidence. Imagine if everyone had the confidence to attack their goals knowing they would get it because they believed in themselves and then they were consistent with it. I'm pretty sure every human would be able to accomplish it. I'm pretty sure all of you guys would be able to accomplish anything you put your mind to. If you live in a first world country and you have all your health, 
there should be really no excuses why you can't make all the most of your life and why you have to be struggling in a, a everyday life and the people that wake up and don't take care of their body and their mind every day i don't get them to be honest like what could be more important than taking care of what's in your mind your thoughts and your physical health i don't know you tell me but i don't know just something to reflect on that like it really simplifies what separates everyone else from um you it's like everyone thinks oh they're probably so smart so intelligent and sure i'm not saying they're dumb but you know what the one thing that they have over you right now most likely is that they really believe in themselves they're consistent those two things will separate you from anyone as well as the third thing they have the confidence they attack their goals they don't just oh that'd be a good idea but I'm uncomfortable taking the risk. Do you really want to be 60 and be like, hey, I never took the risk and how live with that regret? And now I'm going to fail multiple times. I've already have failed. Of course I have. I'm human. Everyone's failed. And like I said, you won't make a million dollars in one year. I don't even make a million dollars. Nowhere near. But, you know, the goal isn't necessarily to make it. The more goal is necessarily to help as many people doing it and help as many people with my program as possible and then just have the money come because each day I'm excited for a Monday and not too many people can say that. Like how many people can say Monday morning they're excited. I hop on uh, a call Monday morning with the girl that's been training with me recently getting her results and I'm, she's my first client on a Monday and I tell her that I'm always very excited to talk to her and see how her progress is and her progress is great. So, I mean, a lot of people have a lot of things but I just wanna really simplify in my opinion what separates the people that are successful from you guys and it's really not much other than those three things self-belief consistency confidence oh i don't know what that, that just was self-belief uh confidence and what was the third thing consistency three things i don't know sorry i get those mixed up but you can figure out which one's more important i mean the first one for me is definitely the self-belief if you don't believe in yourself you're not going to do it because if why would someone else want to listen to you if you don't even believe in yourself and I don't know, just look in the mirror. I'm like, what do you want to see that's out there that's not already out there? I don't know. That's the beauty of it, is that you don't know. You can do whatever you want. Like, who says you got to do something? I don't know. It's up to you. It's all yours. The world is your oyster. Once you have those three things, you have a sharp mindset. And then, of course, working out physically, right? Getting, a, getting developing some muscle, losing some fat, gives you the confidence to attack your goals because it teaches you like, hey, I started with only doing five push-ups, now I'm doing 20. It teaches my brain that if I pick a goal out there and I stay consistent at it, I can accomplish it. And then I go into my business and I take the same thing I learned from fitness over to business. And there, I have a career. It's teaching me perseverance, not giving up. Because of course I failed at six push-ups, but I got to seven, eight, and then 15, right? For me, it was like that for planks. And I couldn't do a 30 second plank as much as I try. Now I'm up to like three minutes. Pretty good in my opinion. I mean, obviously there's people that can do more, but I don't really give a shit because I couldn't even do 30 seconds and now I do three minutes. And I would never would have got that if I wasn't consistent and persevered and believed in myself that I could actually do it. And that's what I'm taking with my business is that no one can say I can't do it. I'm telling myself every morning and I'm doing stuff for my mental health every day. So I don't know, just a little, uh, mo I don't know if it was really motivational, but it's just an eye opening thing that I know I keep saying this, but the gap between everyone that's sitting on a yacht right now and you sitting in your room is not that big. It's just, they have those three things in my opinion from all the research I did. And some people master it and some people struggle with it. Um, again, I'm Jeremy.DeSimone on Instagram. Give me a follow. Um, I'm going to be posting more Instagram st stuff as well as more YouTube stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Now, hopefully these clouds clear up so I can get a tan because I go home to Canada tomorrow. I live in Toronto. So, yeah. Thanks for watching.